everyone welcome back to my channel if you are new thank you for joining me today so i am going to be decorating my monthly overview pages for june i feel like i literally just did this in may i mean for the month of may but i realized i was a little late getting it done so that's why i feel like i am turning right back around and doing it again so for the theme for june um I'm going to go with Hello Summer. This is Live Love Posh's uh, sticker book from last year. I think I'm going to use this theme here. I really, really love it. I have uh, some stickers that are missing, but I think I have enough to uh, make us, you know, get it decorated. I always feel like I need a bunch, and then I start decorating. It's like I only have room for four stickers, so... I'm pretty sure that it's going to be enough. I'm going to use some boxes from JoJo's Summer 2.0. This one just came out this year. I'm going to use this pink here. I decided to go with the newer one because, I mean, she has this kind of pink in the other, pre the previous uh, summer boxes. But I went with this because this one has, the newer ones have the bullet points as well. So I'm going to use that that pink with the blue from here or wait a minute there was another blue I think this one is too light or was it this one I mean I could but I think I'm gonna go with the darker blue and I have Amber's Summer Collections Volume 2 for quotes, which I realized right before I started filming that um, this is just not, it's not like a regular spread where I just need quotes to fill space, but this is for my monthly goals. And so I usually use her Black Quotes Volume 1 or 2, mostly 2, to put like inspirational, motivational, motivational quotes in there and yeah, I guess you could say inspirational too um but I don't know maybe I'll just I, I know it's a goals page I you know I know that so maybe um I don't know I don't know but see this part of it I use it for my mantra so I'm gonna need an inspirational quote here or motivational quote here maybe I don't know I use a summer quote somewhere else if I need to so I take this off and I change that I usually change this this is usually my decorative space here let's take monthly let's I leave the monthly and I put mantra there um, this section here I use for three goals I accomplished, uh, the prior month. That's what I use this for. And then this here section is my check-in where I just give my overall review of the month, what I did good in, great in, whatever. This section right here is things I need to work on. So my focus on section I usually put focus on here but the focus on sticker there but I decided um, I'm just gonna use a, a small box instead and just write it in later because I'm running out of focus on sticker boxes so I figure I'll just use a small box It's a little crooked, but we're going to work with that. And then I'll put my things I'm tracking. Um, last month, well, when I did, yeah, when I did last month's overview, I said I might be changing. I might be changing these three. So I'm going to keep the no spend. You can't say I've been following that pretty good. 
and I'm chafing exercise. I'm going to put hydrate because I really need to focus on water intake. I'm going to keep no spend because I'm not doing good with that at, eat at all. I'm really going to track that too this month for June, I mean. And then unplug because I have been... And my phone gives me like every, at the beginning of every week, it tells me like how well I did the, the previous week. So it'll be like, you used your phone an hour and 35 minutes more than you did last week. <laughs> so it's those darn games, you guys. It's the games, it's social media. It's always like, um, I don't know. My I could tell like my attention span has really dwindled. I there's a bunch of movies I talked about it that I want to see, but <laughs> I found myself yesterday like thinking of the movies I wanted to watch or the shows I wanted to catch up on and then thinking but you know if you were watching that you can't use your phone like you got to be paying attention. And I was debating whether or not I just wanted to use my phone. <laughs> so, like I just, it was debating whether I wanted to watch something I needed that had been, that I had been putting off, whether it be a movie or, um, a series that I wanted to watch. Um, either doing that or putting on something like the office or, um, Parks and Rec, or a, just a show, ridiculousness, anything that I could just have in the background while I'm using my phone, whether it be social media or playing my games on my phone. <laughs> That's so terrible. And I did start watching Succe Succession, but I ended up falling asleep, and when I woke up, uh, I picked up my phone. And then I was like, okay, I'll just watch <laughs> Succession at another time. So, yeah, I have to get a hold of this doggone phone business. And there's times where I have done, um, like, basically fasts from my phone. Um, I will, like, uninstall Facebook. And so I have to uninstall it because if I have it, the icon on my phone, I will just not even think and pick up my phone and start scrolling. So if I don't see it, then I can't, I, I wouldn't, um, just start like reinstalling it and then using it again. So anytime I'm fasting from social media or my phone, I always just uninstall it. That way I can't. Um, but another thing too, though, then before the last fast I did from social media and things like that was before I started my channel, which goes to show how long that's been. I think I have my channel for over two years now. So it's easy then. But I have a channel now, not unless I make it specific to downloading um, or well, uploading my videos, um, doing the necessary posts, and then coming right out of it. And I, I would keep my YouTube um, on there so that I could answer comments or reply or respond or whatever and just keep it strict to that. Um, but other than that, like, no social media. I do because I really do need to take a break. And this is the one thing, like, I was getting ready to say, when I used to do fast before from my phone, whenever my fast used to be almost over, I would get nervous. Like my anxiety would start going up because I knew um, eventually the social media or the phone habit will go right back to how it used to be. Um, you know, you start off gradually like, okay, you fasted. I, I fast from my phone for 30 days, right? No social media or anything. Off, taking a social media break. And then I know when I'm able to get back on there the following month, say the first few days is like, oh, you know, I really don't care about it. You know, it's been so long. I've been already off of it for a while. And then after a while, week two, 
it increases week three it in increases even more week four and then by the by the time you know it i am back using it as if i never took a break from it and that's the thing that would bother me is that i, I know like it's just going to come back as if you know So yeah, but I do need a break from social media. I'm on it all the time. And like I said, I could tell like my attention span for movies is, I mean, the movie has to be phenomenal for me to be like totally into it. One, I'm going to tell you uh, one movie that I watched that actually kept my attention the whole time was The Upside. I think that's what it's called with Kevin Hart. Ugh, I can't remember his name, the other the other guy's name, but he was taking care of a gentleman and he was in a wheelchair. I think it's The Upside. That movie uh, had my attention from the beginning. Like I didn't even think about my phone. Um, so I consider that a great movie <laughs> because <laughs> if for anything else, I would have picked my phone right back up. And I wouldn't have been able to tell you nothing about nothing on that movie. But that does not happen often. I will tell you that. So, it, to me, it had to have been a great movie for me not to. Because the man, a man called Otto, that's another one I mentioned before that I wanted to see. Um, but that was another one I was debating about yesterday because I knew, I was like, I have to pay attention, and I probably would pay attention, of course, and it was like, oh, then that means you're not going to be able to use your phone, you won't be on your phone. <laughs> That's so bad, you guys. How did I let it get this bad? It's terrible. I have to move this box up, it's too close. I'm going to pick the box up one more time. Yeah, so. It's not good. So yeah, I need a social media break. I need a phone break. That's why one of my habits this month is going to be tracking how many days I actually unplug from my phone. comments if you guys find it to be an issue for you as well I don't know and the crazy part is I when I'm doing those fast I feel I know how good it feels not to be stuck to that phone all the time and I always promise myself like okay this time you're gonna stick with it 
you're not going to fall back into that. Into that. Um, oh wait, do I want to put this here? Let me hold on to this because I may want to put that there instead. So, yeah, I don't want to fall back. That's what I'm saying. You don't want to fall back into that. So, just be mindful of your time. Plus my games, I have June's Journey, which I love. It's my favorite. I have Candy Crush, but I haven't played that, and I can't even tell you how long. I have that other one, though. It's Royal. Oh, my gosh. It's the one they always advertise, and I finally decided to play it. It's like Candy Crush. Royal something. Oh, I can't remember it. But I played that one too. I have that one. I have June's Journey. I have Skip Bow. Farmville with the Island. I don't really play that too often. That one I used to be addicted to. But I don't really play that one too often anymore. Oh, and the balloon one. The ball. Oh, I don't remember the name of it. You got to shoot the ball and you have to knock them down the same colors. I don't remember it, but those are the ones I play. June's, June's Journey is my favorite. The Royal one, I am starting to get super used to and addicted to that one as well. So, yeah. <laughs> this is my day. And I try not to download games for this very reason. And yet, here we are. Okay, so um, do I need something here? But what I could put, could I put another? No. I'll put this here because I think it's cute. Maybe a uh, oh, maybe a summer quote. Yeah, June's journey is uh, just finding like the hidden items in a in a scene. I I really do love that one. That's the same. This is it's like a pool, so I don't use this one. I may do Hello Summer since it's June. by the sun. All right. Um, okay. Now I need to figure out. I need boxes, three boxes 
in my goals section. So let's do I want to use this big one. Maybe a smaller one. Okay, I think that's all the boxes I need. So I'm gonna put a quote here, and then the rest is, I'm gonna put it, uh, some flowers or something on the corner over here. Uh, let's get um, inspirational. Inspirational quote. I'm going to use this one. Never fail until you stop trying. Make sure I'll stop. Make sure this is straight.
one of my other favorite games used to be The Sims back in the day. Oh my gosh. You guys, I would get done from working on Friday. Mm, I don't like that. It looks weird. <laughs> I would, um... I'm laughing because I'm getting ready to tell you what my mother used to say. So... <laughs> so I would get done working on Friday and I would move from my work computer to my personal computer to play the sims right and i would be on that computer literally all weekend just sitting in front of it playing um playing that game if you don't know what the sims is it's like a simulated um game it's just you it's people you create and they live their lives and you make decisions for how their lives go if they want you want them to go to college or you want them to um uh you know, become something else, like there's occupations, you can get married and have babies, you date, you have a family, and then um, you can watch them go from a baby to basically an old person, and then they die, the Grim Reaper comes and gets them. It's this whole thing that you can really en en engross yourself in. Um, it's literally like living another life. Like, if there's, I, I mean, it's just... I felt like it was almost like an out. Like, if I had an, another opportunity to live another kind of life, I could play The Sims and create that life that I've always wanted. Um, and I loved that game. And my mother, when she would come over, because she would go straight to my computer when I worked because she loved playing solitaire and things like that. My mother loved games as well. So... But there's times like when she would be on the computer, she came over and I would be like, Mom, you have to get off the computer. I have to check on my people, which was the Sims game. <laughs> and she would go, what do you mean check on your people? And I'm like, I need to see what's going on. Like, what's happening? And she was like, well, they can't do anything unless you're playing the game, right? <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, Mom, but still, I need to check on my people. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I would always say that to her. I gotta check on my people. She'd be like, yeah, girl, please go somewhere. <laughs> what the heck are you talking about? <laughs> um, but I love The Sims and I was so addicted to it, I had to stop. I just, I just deleted it. I had to just get off of it because it was consuming my life. <laughs> it's so sad to say, but it was consuming my life. I still think of playing it because sometimes, like, the advertisements on Facebook will pop up. Actually, I think they have popped up because I haven't seen them in a while. But I think they popped up because I think my smartphone, my smartphone heard me talking about it, like right now. And that's how it started popping back up on my phone, the advertisements, because I haven't played that game in so long. So, if, if I start seeing Sims advertisements again on Facebook, I'm going to let you guys know because I know it's coming from this discussion right here. <laughs> I already know it's up, guys. Um, but I kept thinking, like, looking at those um, advertisements, like, oh, maybe I should just start playing it again. And I'm like, no. No, you cannot go back down that rabbit hole. That's not a good idea. I think I'm going to put this here. So this whole page looks like a party is going on.
Yeah, but I loved, I loved The Sims, Sims so much. <laughs> Every time I think about what my mother used to say, it just cracks me up. What do you mean check on them? They can't do anything unless you're playing it, right? <laughs> Mom, that's not the point. <laughs> just pass over the computer, please. <laughs> oh, gosh. Too funny. That was my game, though. I loved it. I loved it a lot. But I cannot get, I can't, I don't even trust myself to, to get back into that. Because that would be, let me tell you something. If I got back into The Sims, I don't know when I'd ever make another YouTube video. <laughs> it would be over. You guys would be like, what the heck happened to, what happened to Ramika? Uh... Ramika got caught back into the sim world. And I don't know when she's coming back out. Especially the way the world is now. And if I go in and create my own peaceful world. Uh, yeah. Ramika's gone. That's it. <laughs> That's it, guys. You can forget it. Alright. I think I'm done. I got everything. I got my three boxes for goals that I crushed last month well for you know for May I'll say for May uh, this is going to be my focus on section where I write the things I need to focus on for the month of June this is my monthly mantra which will be you never fail until you stop trying these are my three habits I'm focusing on which is drinking more water no spending and unplugging from social media I have my top priorities, and then here is my check-in area where I just write um, how I, what you know, how I feel the month of May went for me, and yeah, I think that is it. I think it came out pretty good, um, and I did have enough uh, witcher jackets, enough, you know, witcher jackets, um, stickers had enough stickers for which I knew I I knew I was gonna have enough because every time I, I always feel like I need a bunch but like I said this area is very functional so I don't need a bunch of stickers but here it is so cute all right so I hate to leave you guys this was a really fun video for me I like um, talking about my social media habits with you all. All right, so for this uh, spread, I used Live Love Posh's Hello Summer from last year. I believe this is still available. Like I said, and I always do say, I will have her information linked in my description. I have an affiliate link that you guys could use and also use my code Mika10. That will be in the description as well to save yourself 10% off of anything on her website, excluding posh boxes. I used a quote from Summer Collections Volume 2 from Amber. I used an inspirational quote from Amber's Black Quotes Volume 2. Some boxes from JoJo's Summer Boxes 2.0 that came out this year as well. And some other like um, little stickers here and there. Oh, yeah, these are from the wellness, the very, I think that's the very first wellness. I have it here, actually, from Happy Planner. That's where these come from. It's this wellness. I think they still also have this available um, to purchase if you like. I don't know if you guys ever seen it, just in case. Here's a little quick, quick flip through. Um, I have, like, two of those because it's a really good book. Um, so that's where I got these from. This is from Boss Babe, sticker book from Happy Planner. And this is from um, Let Your Mind Wander or Take Time to Wander sticker book. It's a wellness sticker book. That's where I got this one from. And this one is from Goals, the newer Goals sticker book from Happy Planner, the mantra. 
I'll put everything in the description like I usually do, guys. Um, but yeah, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure you hit the like button. And if you are not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. And make sure you hit the bell so you're notified when new videos are uploaded. Uh, thank you all so much for joining me. Hope you guys are having an awesome week. And I'll talk to you later. Okay? Bye.